right, today on MTG Unpacked, we're putting together the patron snap packs for August 2021. And so we're running a little bit late. Normally I would have done this over the weekend, um, but we actually had a lot of uh, chaos come up last week, so... This is where we are, so hopefully we'll get a decent number of people. I know it's going to be hard for Europe and other places to join, so hopefully you can watch it on the replay. So what on earth is a patron snap pack? So we go through the boxes here, so you can see we've got commons, uncommons, foils and rares or mythics. So we put together a bunch of cards for the patrons and a little something extra for them each month. But before we get on to the main event here, we'll be putting together the just the foils for some of the patrons at the lower tiers. So let's get started here. We have Nicholas Romero Cateo. Thank you for being a patron reaching into the box and grabbing a foil so you get a spirit summoning so enjoy the pools there nicholas next up we have sundance kid with evolving wilds and what do people think of this dungeon module artwork isn't that awesome okay so let's grab a foil You've got a, oh, foil adult gold dragon, not too shabby. Next up, we have Caitlin Stark. Thank you for being a patron. Already got a nice mythic this month. Let's see what else we can add to the collection. Okay, so we got a dancing sword. Nice foil rare. Is that supposed to be a goblin? I think it is. Very nice. And next up we have Janelle Mondragon. Thank you for being a patron. And that looks like a foil etched. Alright, so we'll grab a regular foil here. So we've got Horizon Chimera. From uh, the Theros block. Next we have Ethan Vang, got the very nice borderless Eliwick Tumblestrum, grabbing a foil here, that is Sigiled Skink, thank you for being a patron Ethan. And here we have Bozza from Down Under, and actually it's probably uh, morning for Bozza. Probably on his way to work or whatever. Maybe he'll be able to drop by, but we'll see. We've got Power Word Kill. That is some crazy awesome artwork there. Pop that in there for you, Bozza. Okay, next we have Bermedian Belbich here. Thank you for being a patron. I like the uh, Frog Hemoth foil. So let's grab another foil. And we have Beast Whisperer. You might recognize this one from somewhere. Leave a note in the comments or chat if you do. Thank you for being a patron, Bermedian. And next we have Radislav Ziegler. Thank you for being a patron, grabbing a foil. What is it? It is a no hunter, not a troll, not a goblin, but a no. So enjoy the pools there, Radislav. Thank you for being a patron. Oh, this next one. Holy moly. Raphael did very nicely indeed this month. Got old Norbone. Nice mythic dragon from D&D. And adding to that, we have Thirst for Knowledge. Thank you for being a patron, Raphael. Next, we have Jamie Casali. Thank you for being a patron. Grabbing a foil, not vold recluse. 
so a spider foil. <clears throat> Alrighty. And next up we have Devin B with the Expedition map. <laughs> Matt Custom Mage MTG. I'm hungry at snack time. It is indeed. We've got spring to mind. So this is one of those Armand Kit flip cards there. And so we've got two more patrons at these tiers. We have Mark, Pete, another cool dragon there. Let's see what we can get as far as foils. We've got Spite of Mogus. Thank you for being a patron, Mark. And finally here for the foils, we have Squirrel. So let's grab another Foil, thank you for being a patron, Squirrel. We have Ravenous Bloodseeker. So that shadows over Innistrad. What is that? Uh, gift box foil. Interesting. Did anyone actually pick one of those up back in the day? Okay, so we will set this stuff aside. And move on to the main event here. So who do we have in the chat? We've got Phoenix for three. Welcome, Dolph Grimm and Ben P. All right, so let's see. We will start by, if we can grab some of the um, cards here for the patrons. So we've got Dolph Grimm. Where is he? There we go. And everything goes flying naturally. Okay, so Dolph Grimm, yes. Come to the podium, please, for your snack pack. And I don't know what these are. I just got these laying around. For no particular reason, we'll set those aside. Maybe something will happen. We've got a rogues gallery over here. We'll set those guys aside. And here's how we do it. So we're grabbing five commons. <laughs> You'll take one. Maybe, maybe Dolph Grimm, maybe. We'll see what happens here. So we've got the commons. Then I'm going to grab five uncommons. Alrighty, and a foil. And finally, a rare or mythic. Alright, so let's see what we got here for Dolph Grimm. Starting off with Reckless Reveler. Paladin's Shield, Yarl of the Forsaken, Horde Robber, Thraben Sentry, and okay, this is one of these flipper things. Thraben Militia on the other side. Wreath of Geists for the Uncommons. Makeshift Mannequin, what is that? From uh, Law One, I think. Curse of the Nightly Hunt from Innistrad, Dryder, Mishra's Factory, Foil Crop Sigil, and the rare is Fetid Pools from Armand Cat. So enjoy your Fetid Pools for the month, Dolph Grimm. Thank you for being a patron. And let's see, next up we have Homer9561. He's got a nice goblin token there. Thank you for being a patron. So this is where we do the uh, hairy arm vision. Trying to get a little bit of competition for Rudy from Alpha Investments. I don't know, he might have me beat in that department. So we've got the commons, we'll grab the uncommons, three, four, and one more, along with a foil and rare or mythic. We're hoping for the latter, there are a bunch in here. 
All right, Homer 9561. We have Ravenous Lucrakota, Gargadon Sketch, Galvanic Relay, Ajani's Presence. When is Ajani going to come back? We want to see him again soon. Way down. Insatiable Harpy for the Uncommons. Temple of the Dragon Queen. Awesome. Reaper's Talisman. High Ground. What is that? Uh, 10th edition? Battleground Geist, Foil, Death Bellow, Raider, and the rare is Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, Creature Goblin Rogue. Okay, so I think we're going to try to keep track of the goblins today. So we saw the token. We got our Goblin Rogue there. So two goblins so far. Let's move on here to Thomas Lewis. Thank you for being a patron. Cave of the Frost Dragon. Dungeon module artwork. Very nice. Welcome, Weezing. Anakin better watch out. He got the high ground. I'm not quite sure I understand that joke. Did anyone else get it? <laughs> Phoenix for three, forgot to walk the dogs. Whoops, off you go. I'm sure we'll still be around here. Uh, these live streams typically go for about two hours. So I think this month we got uh, 45, uh, not 45, 75, holy moly, uh, snap packs to put together. Ah, the last pack had the high ground card. It's a Star Wars reference. So I have a brother-in-law who would have got that and been nodding his head. For me, I just have a confused look on my face. Okay, Thomas, thank you for being a patron. We got Omen Speaker, Cavalry Pegasus, Benthic Giant, Nature's Panoply, Shredding Winds, Necrogen Scudder, Unbreakable Bond, Displacer Beast, Pillar of War, Wing Snare from 8th edition. Foil Goblin and Narcomancer. Okay, so three goblins so far and Temple of Mystery. All right, so some nice pulls for Thomas. And let's see here. Next up we have Eric Cook. What? Eric got a Mythic this month. Okay, so I guess that means we've got to try to find him another one, or maybe one of these will come into the picture somehow. I don't know how that could possibly happen. So we have the commons there. And it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? That's why we say it's a bit of uh, mind rot. Yes, it is. Okay, so there is a known cure. Um, if you go back to the first video on the channel, and then you just keep watching them. There's like 2,300 videos. Pretty sure that will help you out there. Okay, Eric. This guy again. What is his deal? Okay. Duplication City, Triton, Wave Rider, Hyrax, Tower, Scout, Harrow, Moonlit, Scavengers, Squirrel, Sovereign, Acquisitions, Expert, The Birth of My Lettuce, and no, I did not plant any lettuce this year. That gag is used by everybody, I'm sure. Irresistible Prey, Inquisitor's Flail, that looks like a nasty piece of work. Oh, a pre-release. Dawnbringer Charioteers, what is that, uh, Journey into Nyx, I'm going to say, and Corpse Jack Menace Fungus. All right, so enjoy your fungus there, Eric, along with your Mythic. Thank you for being a patron. And uh, Phoenix Fur 3 asks, how come some videos you have people's names on bags and you give them packs? So the... Uh, the names on the bags are the patrons, and depending on the tier that they're at, they'll get a different number of packs. 
So some might get one pack, two, four, eight. If there's an odd number, usually they're getting some like high-end pack or higher end, I should say, like a Modern Horizons 2. So that's pretty much equivalent to two packs. Okay, so next, who's it going to be? We have Jonathan Vogel Sang. Very nice mythic there. Thank you for being a patron. And the patron link is in the description of every video. I think a lot of the low-end tiers are sold out right about now. But usually if you keep your eye on them later in the month, they uh, will appear. Yes, you can also get the Patreon app and look for MTG Unpacked. Let's see another way of doing it. Okay, so Jonathan, what goodies do we have for you today? Starting off with Voyaging Satyr. Grapple with the past. Weird Strangle, another law one. Very nice. Goblin Javelinier. I think that's four goblins now. Moon Mist. Murder. Faraday, Devil's Chosen. Trinket Mage. Sarah's Embrace, Dreamstone, Hedron, Foil, Gloom, Stalker, and the rare is Harmonic Prodigy from Modern Horizons 2. So enjoy the pools there, Jonathan. Thank you for being a patron once again. Very cool. Uh, I like the uh, borderless art on that thing. All right, next we have a spicy pull indeed, Eric Palanco. You got the Misty Rainforest. I will say there are no other fetch lands in the boxes here. Alas, I would go broke in five minutes if I did that. All right, so the commons. Two, three, four, and four. Five, and then grab an a uncommon and rare or mythic. All right, Eric. Let's check it out. We've got Return to Nature, Circle of the Moon Druid, Font of Fertility, Make Mischief, Chorus of the Tides, Forgeborn Oreads, Living Terrain, 8th Edition. Sheshra, Death's Whisper, so we've got the D&D &D artwork there. Searing Blood, Scurry Oak, Skullport Merchant, that is a foil, very shiny indeed. And Lonus Cryptozoologist with the sketch artwork, that is a Snafe, Snafe, that is a Snafe Elf Scout. Because I will call it what I want. All right, Eric, enjoy the pulls. Especially that Misty. Okay, who do we have next? It is Michael with the signed art card. So let's see what other goodies we can get for you. Thank you for being a patron. So we've got our commons. Alrighty, so Michael, what do we have here? Thank you for being a patron. We've got Deep Tread Marrow, Merfolk Rogue, hashtag Snafe, that's right, Dolph Grimm, Bonds of Faith, Ginger Brute, the Fantastic Food Golem, Awesome Dart Bargain, Grim Guardian, Lurking Roper, does anyone know what that is? Is that actually a D&D &D monster? I'm not sure. Maybe it is. I think I might have seen one of those monster cards where they profile them. Keen-Eared Sentry, Brush Strider, Spiteful Blow, Anax Hardened in the Forge, Showcase Foil, Nyxborn Brute, and Dark Salvation. Countless ghouls surged through Thraben streets, and with them came the city's salvation. And, of course, Liliana there leading her army of ghouls. Okay, and Michael. But wait, there's more. Hungry gentleman indeed. On to his second snack pack. 
So see if we can get something even better this time. So that is five. Then the uncommons. And then a foil and rare or mythic. Dolph Grimm says, a lurking roper is a salty arena player who just wants to keep you in suspense. Yes, not amused by those. Signpost Scarecrow for Michael. Crop Rotation. Fertilid. Blood Curdle. Ram Through. Into the Story. Colossal Heroics. Bruno Battlehammer. Magma Quake. Okay, you got an extra rare. Nightshade Assassin. Foil Ruther Mercurial Artist. And the rare is Nadar Selfless Paladin. So this is one of the showcase D&D style artworks. And I swear I've probably pulled that rare more than any other in the set so far. We've opened just about a whole case. All right, I'll set these aside. Making some room on the table. Okay, so what's going on in the chat? Network Pie just pulled a misty rain for us today. I was super stoked. Awesome. And Phoenix for three. When will you open some Innistrad Midnight Hunt? When it's released. It's not released till later this month. So usually you'll see me post on the uh, community post on the channel. I'll have like a crazy pile of boxes and then we'll zip through them in the weekend and then uh so they have the i think the bundles and collector boxes are on the uh following weekend after the pre-release so lots of good stuff spoilers i think are starting tomorrow they've they've done a few already welcome walrus three to ten all right next up we have dylan moore thank you for being a patron Putting together your snap pack. Phoenix Firth 3's Dad Board A D&D Adventures in the Forgotten Realms booster box on the release date. Did he get it on the uh, pre-release weekend or when it actually came out? Because they have been doing these set boosters on pre-release weekend. So if you stop by your local game store... And uh, on the pre-release weekend, if even if you're not participating in a pre-release event, you can usually pick up a set booster box or three. All right, Dylan, we've got Echoing Return, Earth Cult Elemental, Aspect of Lamprey, Thalid, and that card nearly tricked me. You regulars will know what that is about. Blade Tusk Boar. What is this split card? Okay, extra rare. Odds and ends with looks like another goblin there. I don't know if we're counting goblins in artwork now or not. We've got Hunted Wampus from, what is that, Ninth edition? Path to the World Tree. Hunter's Insight. Eccentric Apprentice. Foil Dermo Taxi. That is quite an unusual vehicle. And a mythic. A lunar apex of wishes from Ikoria. Going to be a little sad when that set rotates out as standard later this month. All right, so enjoy the pulls there. Dylan, thank you for being a patron. Next up it is Tommy. Let's go. Welcome, Heracles Alvaro. Which I believe, yes, you are a patron. So this month we'll be uh, doing some packs for you. Along with the snap packs. So later, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, later in the month we'll be doing the September patron snap packs. So we're just running a bit behind right now. Foil and rare or mythic. All right, Tommy, what do we got? Stensia Innkeeper, Vampire, Scurred Colony, Ravenous Lindworm, Sepulcher Ghoul, Pixie Guide. You see a pair of goblins. I guess we have got to count both of them. So what are we at, like six or something? Razor Hippogriff, 
Thrill of Possibility from the Strixhaven Mystical Archives. Desperate Ravings, that's me. Might of Old Cruiser, that is awesome. A giant rat. Foil Stampede Rider. And a mythic Haunting Voyage. Borderless from Kaldheim. What are people thinking of Kaldheim these days? It didn't really uh, do so great when it started, but I think people are finding good stuff for it in standard. All right, thank you for being a patron. Tommy, next up. Miles. Miles. Thornton Sherman, do you need anything else? Do you really need anything else? Because guess what? You're getting a snack pack anyway. There is no... Ragavan in the box. I can tell you that. Maybe we'll find what would be uh, something that would go nicely with the Ragavan. So you want something red, probably. Hmm. We'll have to see what we can pull. Thank you for being a patron. Anyway, Miles did rather nicely this month. And Phoenix Fur 3 is amused by, you see, a pair of goblins. They are amusing. I find them amusing. And the mythic. Okay, I don't know how that came about. Somebody go back through the archives and tell me the first appearance of mythic. It's one of those things that just uh, came about organically, I think. Okay, we have Smell Fear, Scorching Dragon Fire, Triton Shore Stalker. Distemper of the Blood, Turax, Canticle, and the Uncommons. Squirrel Sanctuary. Has anyone built a squirrel deck? I've still got to try that out. Regeneration. What is going on there? So it looks like he's got flowers growing on his neck. Guardian Idol. Extra Rare. Immerstern Predator. Vampire Dragon. That is just the coolest thing. Grasp of Phantoms. Foil Nantuko Shaman. And rare is Blasphemous Act. Okay, so that's red at least. Get, that goes nicely with the Ragavan. So pop that in there. And I think we did actually pull a foil Ragavan on the channel at one point. I forget if it was the Borderless or not. All right, Christopher Blue, you are up next. Thank you for being a patron. Putting together the snap packs. Who's looking forward to the new Innistrad set, Midnight Hunt, coming out later this month? Um, they've done a few spoilers already, but they'll be flooding us with a whole bunch more over the coming weeks. And then they're doing like a two-parter. So in November, they're going to have Innistrad Crimson Vow, so that's like vampires and werewolves. Or oh, actually, no, it's vampires. Werewolves are this month. So, yeah, Midnight Hunt. Okay, Christopher Blue. Let's go. We've got Reckless Reveler, Tortured Existence, Slagwood's Bridge, Satyr's Cunning, Dreamtail Heron, Baron of Clan Under. Draugr's Helm, Radiant Epicure, Face of Divinity, Fleet Feather Cockatrice, Foil, Slaughter the Strong, and Reflections of Lit Jara. All right, enjoy the pools there, Christopher. Phoenix Fur 3 is looking forward to the set. His dad is too. Has been in the magic since 1995. Craziness. Yep, so that's way back. All right, Benjamin Sullivan. Damnation! That is some crazy awesome artwork. Let's see what else we can get for you this month. Thank you for being a patron. So grabbing the commons as per usual. And a foil and rare or mythic. Okay, Benjamin, what do we got? We've got a funeral, longboat, soul knife spy, march of the returned. 
Welcome, Greg Richards and Kyo Trindad. Yes, these snacks have been going about half an hour, but both you guys, I have not, not done your snack packs yet. So stay tuned. March of the Returned, infused with vitality, gluttonous zombie. Okay, then, that's me after Christmas or Thanksgiving, I think. Ordeal of Nylea, ghost-lit drifter, sudden impact. I think we see goblins, but at this point, I'm not counting. Ravenous Chupacabra, that's a nice one. We've got an extra rare Garrix Harbinger. Foil Shambling Ghast. And Nettle Cyst is the rare. Enjoy the pools, Benjamin. And happy belated birthday to Phoenix for three. Okay, then let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, here we go. So we do have a patron in the chat. It is Greg Richards. Thank you for being a patron. Let's see what goodies we can get for you this month, sir. So we've got a four and a five. And I might have to switch boxes. This one's getting a little bit thin. Four and five with a foil and a rare or mythic. We're always hoping for the mythic. Like I said earlier, there is no Ragavan. There's no Fetchlands in there. Okay, but still some tasty pulls. Any Jackalope sightings yet? I do not believe a Jackalope has been sighted, Luke. Wink, wink. So let's see if we can find one here. Best gear, shield mate, angel of mercy. Okay, so I put a uncommon in there. Fine. Cavern whisperer, silver bluff bridge, traveling philosopher. Got an extra rare. Atris oracle of half truths, long finned sky whale, everybody's favorite. Vidalcan infiltrator, cinder elemental, spiteful blow. Foil Lamp Out of Death's Vigil. And rare is Loyal Warhound. Yes, yeah, so those jackalopes are tricky indeed. In fact, let's take a look at one right now. There is the jackalope, or my rendition of a jackalope anyway. But yes, um, we'll see if we can find one. Here is a tasty pool, Emblazoned Aegis. Got a 7th edition Goblin, or I should say Goblin Glider. I'm a little bit jealous about that one, actually. I do not have a 7th edition Goblin Glider in my collection, but enjoy that. That was from one of the Chaos boxes this month. And the theme was Total Chaos. So anything, <coughs> excuse me, anything goes basically. There were a whole lot of random different cards there and I'm not sure if anyone was able to guess the foils at all. I know, a little bit tough next month or actually I should say this month will be a bit easier. Uh, you'll see the theme this weekend. Okay, Emblazoned Aegis, we have God Hunter Octopus. Natural Connection, Spring Main Seven, a Crowan Mastiff, tall as a beanstalk, Ornithatch, Vigil for the Lost, a Boona Acolyte, Lightning Blast, 8th edition, Foil, no, not a Foil, Mere Retriever, here it is, Foil, Lurking Roper, there he is again, we were talking about him earlier, and rare is Incendiary Command, and I think that symbol is Law One. Correct me if I'm wrong. So enjoy the pools there in Blaze and Aegis. Thank you for being a patron once again. Next we have Pedro Villa and another spicy pool there. Well, let's go hunting here for some goodness. We're going jackalope hunting in case uh, you're not aware. I'm not sure what it means though when we find one. We'll have to see what happens if it... Uh, does appear. I think we've even uh, had patrons in the past, there's been two jackalopes, so they've been very happy about those sightings. Okay, so we have the cards assembled for Pedro. 
We've got a Tuscary Firewalker. Ding, 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 ding. There it is. Jackalope Herd standard pack. But today, no, we're not doing standard packs today. We're doing Modern Horizons 2. All right. The first wild card has been pulled. Okay, next we have Hero of the Pride, Bartered Cow, Silver Chase Fox, a Crowan Line Breaker, Carpluzen Strider. Flesh allergy, okay. Uh, they should probably see the doctor about that. Guild Thief, Triton Tactics, Foil, Split the Party. I think that's a supremely bad idea. And the rare is Nadar, Selfless Paladin. Here he is again. That's the regular version. Okay. So Pedro will be getting the rares, mythics, foils, anything over a buck along with the art cards and anything from the list. Get stuck into it. So what do we have here? Grist the Hunger Tide. Yeah, Weezing uh, probably has a shortcut on his keyboard to pop out the word jackalope. Okay, so there is Grist, the alternate artwork. So which one do you prefer, that or the, the other artwork? Leave a note in the comments. We've got a mountain... Goldmire Bridge, Sojourner's Companion, a metallic-looking salamander. Late to Dinner, Discerning Taste, Legion Vanguard, Clattering Augur, Diamond Lion with the uh, Retro Border. Another rare, nice one, Profane Tutor. That actually was decently priced at the beginning. I think it's dropped down about two bucks or something now. Hunting pack, kitchen imp sketch. We've got a foil goblin and narcomancer. And that's us. We didn't get a list card out of that packet. What is going on, Watsy? We demand it. Okay, so profane.